What is going on guys? My name is Chaotic and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video here on my channel. Today I am going to be sharing 10 secret and hidden locations in GTA 5 that you may not know about or have maybe never been to before in GTA Online. I've tried to include as many new and recently discovered locations as possible which are not only cool locations but also very very useful in certain situations. So without any further ado, let's get straight into things. So to start things off, I'm going to be showing you guys a secret location that's hidden inside the Devon Western hangar at the airport. Now to access this location, you are going to need a fairly low vehicle, something like the X80 Proto as I'm using in this video. And you want to get this vehicle on the roof just as I have done using a cargo bob. Upon doing that, of course, then get into the X80 Proto, or whatever vehicle you guys are using, and then drop down to this lower part of the roof, and then drive in amongst of these metal bars and enter this center section. From here then, drive down to this end of the roof, and what you want to do then is drive full speed into this wall right by here in the roof itself, and if your car is small enough, it will then go through the wall and you'll enter this secret location above the hangar itself. But as you guys can see, the interior will now be in invisible. But to solve this problem, go from third person into first person and you'll now be able to see absolutely everything. But basically what you're standing on is an invisible barrier in amongst the roof beams themselves. I think it's a kind of cool location and from here as well what you can do is shoot down below you, you can kill people from here, you can blow things up and much much more. So it's a very cool location to go to if you want to try and hide from players so when they come to try and find you in this hangar they won't be able to see you and you can just kill them without them even realizing where you are. Anyway, so let's move on to the second location in this video. This will also require a vehicle, something fairly tall like the Insurgent or the Sand King will do perfectly. Just go ahead and make your way to this location right by here, very close to the entrance of the Del Perro Pier, and you want to drive the vehicle into this shrubbery area right next to the restaurant. I'd recommend placing a vehicle at the front of the wall like I did so you can drive up it and then place your vehicle in this location. Don't park it too close to the wall as you're going to have to be jumping in between the vehicle and the wall itself in a few moments. And basically from here what you want to do is jump on top of the vehicle and then jump in between the vehicle and the wall itself so your character falls over and gets stuck in between the vehicle and the wall. And hopefully if the glitch works correctly for you, you'll be teleported into this space above the restaurant. Now from here alone it's a very cool location, you can walk about above this restaurant, you've got a pretty good view of the road right next to you, which in itself makes it a pretty good location, but you can get to a much better one by simply walking forward into the empty space in front of you. Now usually when you fall down, you'd expect to go onto the map, but instead you're going to land above the tunnel below you where the cars themselves are driving through. Now I myself think this location is just awesome, it's definitely one of the best secret locations you guys can get to in GTA Online right now, it is certainly one of the biggest locations because you can in fact walk all the way on top of the tunnel in either direction without actually falling through the roof. And as you guys can see in the video, in some locations, you can in fact shoot below you through the roof. And whenever you want to leave this location, just run all the way to the end of the tunnel and you can drop down just like I did in the video. So let's move on to location number three. This is yet another secret location under the map which you guys can access. Just go ahead and make your way to this location right by here on the map in the docks area itself and walk over to this stairway right by here. Now for this glitch, I would recommend going into first person. You can stay in third person, but I think it's much, much easier by going into first person. And what you guys want to do is very, very slowly walk into this wall right here. And as you guys can see, you can walk straight through it because the wall is very glitchy and isn't 100% solid. But when you do walk through it, go very, very slowly. If you go too quickly, you'll be forced out of the wall and you'll have to start again. So be very, very careful upon doing this. And when you get far enough, you can drop down to this location right by here under the map and under the stairs itself. So here we go guys, this is the location right by here. It's not a massive location but still big enough to get yourself in there and what you can also do is shoot through the wall and under the stairs and in some locations through the road itself so if anyone's driving past you you can shoot them as well. 
And then when you want to leave this location, it's very, very simple. Just jump off the map like I do in the video. You'll then fall under the map and eventually respawn on the road nearby. Anyway, so let's move on to the next location, which is located in the Grapeseed area, just north of Sandy Shores itself. Make your way to this house right by here, which is located at this location on the map. And once you've made your way to this location, make sure you have a motorcycle, as you're going to be using as a prop to jump on top of. So what you guys want to do is drive into the front door and then turn it around just like I'm doing and place it as close to the house itself as possible. And what you guys then want to do is walk away, not too far of course, and then just simply run and jump onto the motorcycle itself. It's pretty simple to do and upon doing so then, try and climb up again and you should be able to climb inside the roof of the house. And there we go, you're inside this secret location right by here, completely hidden from anyone who is outside the house itself. You can of course also shoot through all the walls and the roof, so if anyone's driving past, you can shoot them and kill them, but people cannot shoot you when you're inside here, as the roof itself just acts as a barrier. So I guess once you're inside here, you're completely invincible, and you haven't got to worry about other players, the police, or anyone like that. And whenever you want to leave this location, it's very, very simple. Just walk through any wall and you'll be able to go straight through it and leave the building at any time. Moving on to location number five. This will also require a vehicle, something fairly tall like the mule truck or a Sand King or an Insurgent, anything along those lines. And what you guys want to do is make your way to this location right by here and begin driving through this tunnel. Now on your right hand side there is going to be a driveway which goes up to the building entrance. Just turn right and then don't go too far as you want to place the vehicle on the hill itself next to the wall behind you. From here then of course just jump out of the vehicle and then climb on top of it and what you then want to do is then jump onto the ledge which is on the wall itself. From here then, once you're on this ledge, try and jump up again, and what you should be able to do is then jump on the other side of this wall into this secret location above the tunnel itself. From here then, you are of course completely hidden, there is no way of seeing you whatsoever once you're inside this location. Unfortunately though, you cannot shoot through the roof as you guys can see, the bullets themselves just impact on the roof, so if anyone's below you, you cannot kill them. But nevertheless, it is still a very cool location which you guys can access and you can hide inside of, and when other players come to this location they're gonna have no idea where you're at. Up next is location number six which allows you to get inside this building right by here which until now has never been done before. So what you guys want to do is make your way to this location right by here on the map. I'm sure all of you guys know of this location. It's just down the road from the Eclipse Towers. This will, by the way, guys, be the most difficult glitch out of all of these ones, which I'm showing off in the video. Because what you guys want to do is get a motorcycle behind this ladder right by here, which, trust me, is much, much harder than it might seem. So go ahead and place your motorcycle right by here, get onto it, and basically what you want to try and do is flip it over so it then lands on you and you get stuck. What should then happen is your character will glitch out and then be teleported inside the building, which is quite a few meters away. I'm not really too sure how this one actually works, but somehow you get teleported all this distance into this building, which you can then roam around inside of. Now, for some unknown reason, when you're inside this location, you cannot use any of your weapons whatsoever. When you try to shoot, it just will not let you, and there is no way of actually doing so, which is kind of disappointing, but nevertheless, it is still a kind of cool location, which you can now get inside of in GTA Online and just hide from players or do whatever you guys want to do when inside here. Fortunately, however, at the next secret location, you can use your weapons and it's located inside the Jetty Hotel, which is right by here on the map. I'm sure all of you guys know of this hotel, and I'm sure you guys drive past here on a regular basis, but what you guys want to do is make your way to the parking lot on the roof and come to this section right by here, and basically what you guys want to do is try to run and jump inside this wall right by here, which can take two or three tries. It's not too difficult though, just keep on trying, and eventually your character will climb up and jump through the wall and be inside this location right by here, which again is completely hidden. No one can see you when you're inside here, and what you can do is shoot through pretty much every single wall so if anyone's around you you can shoot them and kill them whenever you want 
And you can, of course, just jump straight back through the wall again whenever you guys want to leave this location. So again, another very cool location you guys can access inside GTA Online if you guys want to hide from someone and seek refuge. Now moving on to the next location, location number 8. This location right by here requires you to parachute into the location itself. I'd recommend just using a helicopter or a plane to do this, but I'm going to be going from the maze bank itself. And what you guys want to do is jump towards this building which is under construction, which is directly in front to me as I speak. So what you guys want to try and do is jump onto the ledge itself on the side of the building which I'm about to land on in just a few moments time and basically this ledge right by here in itself is already a pretty good location. Most players won't expect anyone to be by here and you have a pretty good view of the back of the maze bank and all the roads surrounding it as you guys can see right now in the video. So if you wanted to you could just sit by here it's a pretty active zone where loads and loads of traffic goes through I'd imagine most players in their GTA Online session will go through here at least once or twice but what you guys can also do if you want to is drop down to a much lower level where you can in fact walk around the entire level as well although the view itself isn't quite as good from here it's a pretty cool location to hide out from as you have the entire floor to yourself which isn't usually accessible in GCA online but moving on to the ninth location in this video this allows you to get inside a restaurant which is right by here on the map just down the road from the Vinewood theaters so what you guys want to do is place an SUV right by here under the doorway climb on top of it and then climb into the building itself just like I've done in the video and you can go completely inside as the building itself is completely hollow inside and what you guys can then do from here if you want to is either stand on top of the doorway just like I'm doing or you can drop down into the glass window in front of you as you guys can see I'm doing right now in the video I myself would recommend just staying on top of the doorway it's a much better location and you can in fact shoot through the wall when on top of the doorway but when you drop down by here you can't shoot through the wall whatsoever and of course when you guys want to leave this location just jump into the abyss right next to you it will then take you onto the map and you'll eventually respawn on the road nearby but moving on to the 10th and final secret and hidden location in GTA Online for this video this allows you to get inside the boathouse which is located right by here on the map in the Sandy Shores area so go ahead and make your way to this location and once you're here what you simply want to do is walk through the doors of the boathouse. The doors themselves are not solid, so you can walk straight through them and go inside the entrance area of the boathouse itself. And it's as simple as that. You're then completely hidden inside the secret location right by here, which most players in GTA Online won't know. I myself think it's a great location in GTA Online, especially if you're being chased down and you're in the area. Just very quickly make your way to this location and go inside when people are not watching you, and you can hide inside there and the players themselves will have no idea where you're hiding out at, because this location is not known whatsoever whatsoever by the community. So there we go guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys find these 10 secret and hidden locations in GTA Online useful. I'd appreciate it greatly if you guys could drop a like on this video. Also be sure to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts and feelings about these locations. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So as always guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.